Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a WWE Action Figure Marathon unboxing or unboxing marathon, whatever the hell you want to call it. We have our stack of basics and battle packs here, and then we have our stack of elites over here. If you guys missed yesterday's video, we went to my local Walmart and we bought every single WWE figure that was there. And today, we're going to be kind of just unboxing all of them and kind of get into what I think I'm going to do with them, my ideas for them, stuff like that. So just hang out with me. We're just going to chill out. We're going to unbox all these figures, see exactly what we got. You know, is there any issues with them? Things of that nature. Give a little feedback about the figures. Maybe, again, some things that I can use for the figures for fix-ups. Maybe you guys have some ideas for fix-ups. You can let me know down in the comment section below. But the, the stack goes out of the freaking camera. You guys can see here. You can see a few of them here, but it even goes beyond that. So that's absolutely absurd. I appreciate everybody checking out yesterday's Toy Hunt video where we actually checked out everything and bought everything and went to that Walmart. I can't wait to do that again. I think it'll be super fun to do that, like, as a series on the channel, maybe, where we can do it. It, it definitely won't be all the time, but I'd like to do it maybe every few months or something like that maybe clear out a store that way we can get restocks in there and i don't know we'll, we'll just see what comes of it but anyways guys let's go ahead and dive in we'll start off with this basic up at the top this is a basic lana figure now i've never owned this specific lana before i thought the head sculpt was a little okay it wasn't the best it's got like let's just go ahead and crack her out of the packaging here so with this lana figure the head sculpt wasn't the best and that was the first time i'd ever seen it at retail actually i was happy to add lana back to the collection you know, women's basic figures are pretty much just, oh my god, man. I mean, like, the legs just feel like they're gonna break. The articulation's not very good. They're pretty much just statues. And the last Lana I had was the one in, like, the blue suit or the red suit, like, the pants suit, you know, when she was running around with Rusev and he was all machka still and not that entertaining. So, yeah, that was the last Lana figure that I had. So, I was happy to add this one back to the collection, but that is our first figure. Next up, guys, we do have another basic, SummerSlam, and it is Becky Lynch. We have Becky Lynch in the house. I'm definitely gonna try and cut as much of that audio as possible because I know that can like hurt the hell out of people's ears. But here's Becky Lynch out of her packaging. Now, this is a head sculpt that is pretty much just like the Elite 72, except it does have, like, this eye makeup on there, which is kind of weird. But I don't know. You know how Ronda and Becky both did that. It's got, like, the dots going on. It looks pretty good, though. I, I kind of like this head sculpt. I like the braid. It's pretty much just a repaint of the Elite 72 Becky Lynch. I do like it, though. And we'll set this over here with Lana. Next up, we have my boy Finn Balor in the blue and white gear. And this basic's pretty fire. I actually like this basic a lot. I do have a custom of this figure, and it does have the nice, smiley Finn head sculpt that we love to see. You love to see that smiley fin head sculpt. I actually do have a custom of this attire and I'm going to be using these knee pads and this head sculpt for fix-ups for the future absolutely and what's cool about these figures is getting the knee pads off are really easy. If you guys ever want to get knee pads off of these new basics you literally just take this just fold this down usually. Oh, okay so you're just going to embarrass me and not do it this time. Usually it works. It definitely usually works. Okay, there you go. So there you go. See, it will work. It just takes a little time, but then you can pop off the knee pad right there. Uh, but this will not go back on. You'll definitely have to heat it up to put it back on, but I figured I'd show you guys that. Next up, guys, is a Roman Reigns with the ponytail head sculpt, and I honestly feel like I really like the attire of this basic, but I feel like the head sculpt is too large. So taking him out of the packaging, the head sculpt to me just seems a little bit big, especially when you put it on an Elite. I just put mine back up on the shelf, so I'm not going to get it down, but it just feels big to me. I'm not sure. I love that you have no gauntlets on on there. It's kind of like a promo attire. Roman Reigns. Kind of outdated now, but it is cool to see the ponytail head sculpt Roman. We've been waiting forever. I swear, it seems like when we finally get some head sculpts, they're oversized or something. It's like they got to get it right the first time around. It'd be nice to see them shrink that a little bit in size, so hopefully we get that on the reprint, but there's our first big dog. We got Seth freaking Rollins. And Seth, uh, this was that basic that I talked about that's so plain, man. Like, look how plain this basic is. I mean, yes, this head sculpt oak is, is good. You have the rib wrap. If you guys are looking for the rib wrap and this is a great basic to buy you do get the knee pads but it's just plain black attire plain black wrist tape Seth Rollins head sculpt we've seen before and then you do have the rib, rib wrap on there which is nice that, that is nice to have extra accessories for pick fetting for photography for backstage area for medical area so that is nice to see if you guys needed that but it is a very plain Jane basic we have another one of these Roman Reigns so I'm just going to crack him open real quick nothing too much with that again the same head sculpt it does look like the paint apps may be a little bit better on this one than the last one that we got but not too bad Next up is another Finn Balor in the blue. We're just going to crack him open again. 
just because, you know, we've all, we've already taken a look at that. No no other need, but I will use this for more fix-ups. If I get any repeats of figures, I'll use them for fix-ups or customs. There's a, The plastic is already building up here, but look how beautiful, man. I love this attire. So sick. We should have gotten a lead of this. Moving on, guys, we do have another Roman Reigns basic, but it is a different one. It's Is this the is this the Chase variant of that? No, that was the top picks. Okay, so the last Roman Reigns we looked at was the top picks. The Chase variant just changes the attire, not the head sculpt. So this one is different. This is Basic Series 108 Roman, and this one has the hair down, but it does look like it has the same shirt. Am I tripping ball sack? I'm pretty sure this is the same exact shirt. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's the same exact shirt except different head sculpts on there. You guys can let me know which one you like down below. I love the, uh, the, the, these aren't the pissed off ones that I like, but I still enjoy both of them. You know, they work. They definitely look like Roman. I can't wait to get a new head sculpt with like his new teeth and everything on there. I think that'll be pretty cool, but there is our last of our basics. Moving on, we do have a battle pack, a couple battle packs, but they are Becky and Seth, who we've already seen, but they are in different attires, and we get an accessory. So pulling them out right here, getting this ish out of my face. So we get a Raw Women's Championship, which looks very nice. Happy to add another one of it. It's kind of dull, but it would still work. If you use this for predictions and stuff, it still looks pretty close to the Women's Championship. Then we have the nice X-Men attire with the black boots. Again, I'm just going to be using this head sculpt and these knee pads for fix-ups in the future. And he'll probably be a, become a crowd member, you know, trying to increase the depth of the MDT universe. And then we have the Becky figure, which I do like this attire. I like these knee pads. You know, I, I like this head sculpt, too. It's a, it's pretty much the Elite 72 head sculpt again, but it does have different hair, and it's pulled back in a ponytail, which I like. So that, that is nice. I like to see that. So we'll add Becky and Seth to our stack over here, and then we'll go to the final battle pack, which is roughly the exact same thing. Not roughly. It, it is. It's the exact same battle pack. Pull them on them out there. Toss that over there on our mound of trash. Another Raw Women's Championship, $253 worth, I bet better get another Raw Women's Championship. Pulling out Seth, pulling out Becky, tossing over our plastic, and it looks like this one may have a, this Becky may have slightly better paint outs in my opinion, and then the Seth looks virtually the same. Actually, I may like this one a little bit more. I don't know. Who gives a damn? We're moving on to the Elites, guys. We have our Elites up next, and we're starting out with Big Daddy V, baby. We got Viscera in the house, and for these, I don't like to just rip open the Elites because I'm not a savage. I usually keep some boxes, you know, for future use and reference, guys, but to cut these open, we're gonna need... The trusty knife. <gasps> this isn't my damn halls. Yay! Stab it. How about that? I don't hear you laughing now. Sorry, I had to see that. How about that, ho? All right, so we do have Big Daddy V right here. This is my second of this Viscera figure, and I didn't want to experiment with this coat, but now that I have two of them, I'm definitely going to cut this coat off at one point, and we're going to see what's underneath and see if we can customize it and stuff, but we do get our interchangeable hands, and we get our nice little long stringy piece. But this guy is massive, and his articulation is obviously garbage for, for, good, for good reason. His legs move great. If this long rubber thing wasn't here, I am definitely going to cut this off at one point, and we'll see what comes of that, but let's go ahead and get his accessories all over here in the pile. We'll take a look at everything at the end, like stack it all up nice and neat, but for now, get it out of my face. Next up, guys, is Ronda Rousey. So this is usually how I open my elites. I just slit the little side right there. Just like that, pop it open, and there you go. Third Raw Women's Championship. I wasn't even thinking about this Ronda coming with a Raw Women's Championship, so that is nice to see. We have our interchangeable hands, and I actually have a really sick idea for this. If it works out, we'll have to see exactly what comes of it, but I have a really dope idea that I'm thinking of doing, but we'll just have to see how that plays out, what comes of it, you know, all those things. Gonna go ahead and cut this. But I have a really cool idea for this Ronda Rousey. And so hopefully that all works out, but we'll have to see that at a later date. Action figure surgery, stuff like that. But there is Ronda doing her out-of-the-package pose, looking like a jackass. No, but seriously, I love Ronda, so this, this is awesome. Happy to add this back in the collection. I wish I had double-jointed arms, but this is a still very nice figure, and I'm happy to have it back in the collection. I like to collect the Ronda figures, so... Oh, yeah. 
fire. And there's the little eye makeup that we're talking about with Becky. This is obviously a better figure, but yeah, 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 yeah. Next up, we have four AJ Styles. Now, to be honest with you guys, you probably don't want to sit here and see me unbox four AJ Styles, but let me explain exactly what my idea is for this so you guys can see what I'm saying, okay? So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to take each one of these AJ Styles and I'm going to paint the gloves pink, the armband pink, and then all the red on the attire, we're going to paint pink as well. So right here where it says the OC, we're going to paint that pink. We're going to paint all this red detail pink. We may switch out the knee pad. We may just acetone that off or we may just paint that pink as well. And then we're going to paint, then we're going to paint the stuff on the kick pads pink. And we're going to have like an MDT live attire is what I'm thinking. I think that's what I'm thinking. I think that would be really sick. I think you guys would appreciate that. And then I'm going to just put them on eBay. Not for a bid or anything. It's just going to be straight up buy for purchase. So you guys could purchase an MDT live style or just a pink and black AJ style. So let me know what you think of that idea down below. I'd really appreciate it. But he will come with all his accessories as well. I probably won't paint the shirts. So he'll come with his vest and interchangeable hands. He won't come with the rubber shirt, but he'll come with the vest. I'll probably paint the P1 on the, on the vest too to make it sick but it'll come with interchangeable hands and his entrance vest but no rubber shirt all right guys for this last aj styles this is the bald head or five head aj styles so i don't know if we'll have another it's kind of crazy because the likeness in the face and the sculpt is really really good they just unfortunately gave him like a six head right there so that is just tragic however i don't know maybe i could switch it out for another figure's head or something and still sell it it'll probably have a different aj styles head sculpt i don't think i'll use this head sculpt but that's still hilarious that we got that but let's go ahead and and uh, take AJ out here and get a closer look at this bald head. So taking a zoom in shot right here. I mean, dude, you can see it from here. Good God. Oh my God. Bless him. That's terrible. I think the only way to fix it is to remove the hair and then sand it down and then re-glue the hair back to the scalp. But mm, tragic. Super tragic, man. That is just unfortunate. Ugly. But let's move on to our last figure over here, guys. It is going to be Rick Rude. And then we're going to line up everything and see what we got. This packaging's beat to hell, so that's nice. Not the Chase variant either, which is super nice. I know a lot of figures, this figure I think has a running change where he is not packaged with the robe actually on because, uh, you know, it was staying in the figure, man. So there you go. You get the nice robe. You get the nice abs. I love this Ultimate Warrior attire. I think it's super fire. And he does have the sick-ass boots. But it's always nice to have more Rick Rudes, man. This is only my second Rick Rude because of my others I sold. So this is very nice to see. I want to put these boots on somebody else. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I want. But super dope. Always have a nice ripped up torso for a future fix up or a Rick Rude fix up. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But you got the beautiful yellow boots on there. But now let's go ahead and line up everything we've gotten here today on this marathon of unboxing figures. All right, guys. So here is everything that we have gotten here today on the unboxing marathon. I think I added it up yesterday. It was like 19 total figures for $253. It came up to an average of $13 per figure, which isn't the worst, but it is kind of bad when you consider that basics are only like $9 to $10 and they only are really good for head sculpts and sometimes knee pad or just chilling on a shelf you know you can't really articulate them or anything like that but that is a good deal for an elite so maybe it counteracts itself there but uh now that i have so many seth rollins head sculpts with this i think i have four on the shelf that i'm not using i may just do a marathon of un like i may do an action figure surgery episode where we're just head swapping all these different stuff maybe putting some knee pads on there we may have episode 51 of action figure surgery coming tomorrow so be on the lookout for that but that is gonna do for our wwe action figure unboxing marathon guys Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the hangout and everything like that, let me know. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.